Deep under Iran's desert at Natanz, centrifuges started tearing themselves apart, while control panels swore everything was fine. No bombs, just code. Weeks earlier, a Belarusian analyst, Sergei Yulison, had traced mysterious crashes in Iran to a strange worm. It used multiple Windows Zero days, even stole legit certificates, and spread from a single USB. No clicks needed. This wasn't crimeware. It was engineered. Researchers cracked it open. Stuxnet. Its mission? Find Siemens Step 7 systems running specific PLCs that controlled uranium enrichment centrifuges. Only then did it strike, quietly hijacking the PLCs, pushing machines to unsafe speeds while replaying fake, normal-looking data to operators. By the time Iran caught on, hundreds of centrifuges were damaged. Air-gapped? Useless. Stuxnet rode in on an infected drive, then stayed dormant elsewhere. It eventually hit over 200,000 computers, but only wrecked its true target. In late 2010, Iran admitted a cyber attack. Who did it? Widely attributed to the US and Israel under Operation Olympic Games, designed to delay Iran's program without firing a shot. Stuxnet was a first, malware causing physical destruction, proof that future wars can start with a whisper from a USB stick. Follow Cyber Nightmares for more such videos.